Hi friends, I am Allison, this is Lindsay, Hi. and we get to deliver you a 15 minute efficient workout today. This is meant to be on the go with you anywhere, everywhere. All you need is what you have, yourself. If you do not want to get down on the ground though, you might want a support system near you, whether it's a counter, the back of a couch, it's your deck furniture, it's a tree. Have that nearby if you'd rather not go on the floor, Lindsay will show you what that looks like. All right, let's do this. Primary posture, feet underneath your hips, heavy heels, soft knees, level off through your pelvis, pull your abdominal wall in, and then open your collarbone, drop your shoulders. It's a big inhale as we start together here. Bring your feet out to a sumo, drop your right shoulder, gaze over your opposite one. You can sway your hips a little here, opening through your hips. Just drop your chest through center, other direction. Pressing your knees open, lengthening your neck. Come back through center, float your chest a couple inches. Sumo right here, just drop. And we're gonna thread our arms up and over, alternating. Here's your right, here's your left. Any shoulder neck tension, you're gonna follow along with Lindsay, keeping your arms a little bit lower. Option, you're gonna layer in a glide. Here we go, to your left. Your heels drawing apart and back together with purpose. We have not much time together, so this is a super efficient warm up. So you're ready for the good work we get to do together today. Always can layer down to where you need to be, whether it's staying through center, or gliding, taking a little more space here. As your arm reaches up, your shoulders stay down. All right, one more set. We're gonna find a row T arm with a heel lift. Here we go. Pull it in, right heel, drop. You may go to a glide right now, like Lindsay, if that would serve you. Feel your elbows slice into your side body. And then open, spread your heart, spread your arms open. Yes. Finding a strong squat, which means your knees pull to your middle toes every time you land on your mat. Two more here, we'll head to a lunge. Here's your last set. Last side, come on down, hold, swivel to the left, runner's lunge, sweep your hands behind you like a cape, or interlace your knuckles and hold. Lindsay's working with the feet a little closer together, a great place to go. We both are looking down, seeing our front knee right over our front ankle. Square off your pelvis, pull your back heel high, draw your ab wall in, relax your shoulders. Quick switch of your feet here, runner's lunge side two or incline crescent and hold. Arms sweep back, option for your chest opener. It's the reason why we're doing this is where we're headed next. Looking down, you're heavy with your front foot. Knee over your ankle and then square your pelvis as your back heel goes high. Relax your shoulders, big inhale. Hands to the floor, all fours. Knees underneath your hips. Send your right leg and your left arm long and hold. Always can take the standing option with Lindsay if you'd like. Soften your supporting elbow, relax your shoulders, float your heart. Pulling your navel towards your spine as you level through your pelvis. Back knee shines down. Begin to draw your knee out to the side as you pull your elbow to your other side body. And then lengthen right back to where you started. We'll put that together, two count friends, here we go. Pull it in for two. Lengthen long. All right, so at any point, if you are on the ground, you're noticing shoulder, neck tension, I encourage you to lift up. Here's where a tree, your deck furniture, a countertop can help support your balance. You can also at any point, just do the lower body. The goal here is you're not rounding and lifting through your spine as you move. Your spine staying stable and your hips are as well. That means your abdominals have to work. Your glutes are helping support you. Pull. This is one of my most favorite go-to postures because it really works everything. Feeling also some good work in your shoulder. Lindsay, how's it feeling? My standing hip is feeling spicy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Standing hip, especially getting a lot of work. Start to notice if your hip is pushing up over to the side and lean a little bit more into your supporting hand. There's gonna be a little bit more work there. You'll feel your abdominal wall activate a little more. Good work that you are doing. A couple more than we hold. Pull, squeeze, inhale. This is your last one all the way through. Squeeze grand finale hold send your hand and foot out away from one another in a diagonal hold keep lifting your heart long in your neck bracing through your core big inhale as you lengthen your fingers and toes away from one another 
Great job. Hands to the floor. Bring your back foot forward. Right foot forward. Curl your back toes under. Rise to an incline carousel horse. Goal post your arms and hold. Now front knee still over front ankle. Hips level. Back heel high. Ab wall in. Start to draw your knee towards your chest as you bring your forearms towards one another. And then send your leg back as you open through your arms. Two count here. We're going to take a chest press. Knee drive. Send it back. Pull it in. Lindsay's choosing to keep her toes on the ground, a great place to go. If this is in your neck and shoulders, you're gonna work right here. Even though we're not working with props, you have the best prop available, and that is you. The way you're working with your own resistance. Option a little faster here. Pull it in, press, pull, push. If you were connecting to the slower tempo, stay there. So great, Lindsay. Your hips are staying steady. Tendency will be to lift through your chest. I want you to stay low here. Pull, press, feel how your right glutes are working to support you. A few more, we'll find sumo. Here's four, three, two. Last one, sumo squat. Take a bicep curl here. Think about holding on to resistance with its weights. And now a couple big bottles of water favorite bottles of wine, whatever it is. <laughs> and your squat, your knees pull forward towards your middle toes. Hips go back. Active core. Lindsay's taking a more upright option, showing horse pose. Wider base, upright spine. Super effective way to work here. Okay, you can stay like this or option. I'm gonna layer in a heel lift. Lindsay's gonna stay as she is. Here we go, right heel. Then your left heel. Similar to warm up. Your heel presses out and away versus going behind you. Avoiding any extension through your spine. Push. Think palms to shoulders, knuckles towards your hips. A ah. few more here. We've got side two to go. All right, final set here. Last side. Come down, hold. We get to go right into all four. Side two, hands under shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Left leg, right arm goes out. Hold. Soften your supporting elbow. Relax your shoulders. Feel your heart lift up. Feel your abdominal wall hugging in and then hips level, back knee spirals towards the floor. Start to pull your elbow and your knee out to the side. Heart stays shining down. Extend back to where you started. Two count flow here. Pull it in for two. Reach. Remember the smart choices you get to make. That's taking a layer off, just doing your lower body, standing tall like Lindsay. You can also take this right through center. If working an external rotation does not serve your body, you're gonna go right here. Pull in. Remember the goal is not to have movement in your spine or in your hips. So keep your focus there and start to notice if you're shifting over to the right. A good way to kind of check on that is make sure your supporting knee is below your hip, not below your belly button. Keep it going here. Pull. Some good healthy shoulder work happening. Squeeze. I like to exhale as I pull. Inhale to reach. Not letting your chest fall here. Or your elbow left. 30 seconds. Then we hold. Pull. Okay, one of my favorite places to take my workouts on the go is honestly just onto my deck. So I'm not in my basement. I get a little fresh air. So usually I'm doing Lindsay's option outside on the deck. Taking in a little bit of vitamin D, which us Oregonians really love whenever we can. A few more here. Pull. Also a great option if you do get the opportunity to travel, right? Here's your last one. Hold. Find your diagonal reach. Right hand, left hand foot go out and away and then you lift your heart. You're feeling that tug in your core as you reach your body in two separate directions. One more big inhale right here. On your exhale, bring your left foot forward, curl your back toes under, rise to your incline carousel horse, arms to goal post and hold. Driving force of your front heel to the floor, knee over your ankle, hips level, back heel high, ab wall in. Two count knee drive right here, your knee pulls forward and then press back. Finding your chest press, squeeze, resist. Toes can stay on the floor at any point or grab onto something nearby. Squeeze, push. Once again, we're avoiding spinal movement like we were on the ground, but sometimes it's a little harder when we're trying to balance. Push, 
feel your mid back, your chest muscles working here. Option, make this a little faster. Last 30 seconds, here we go. Pull, press, pull, press. So if you're starting to feel this in the front of your right hip, just keep your leg a little lower. Not about trying to get your forearms to touch, but at finding mobility through your scapula, building good strength to support you. Squeeze, push. Heel to seat is next. Here's our final few. Last two. Go ahead, face me, heel to seat. Here we go, pull back. Ooh, this feels nice. All right, relax your shoulders. Kind of move them in a way that feels good. Squat, lift. You're finding full extension through your legs here. All right, if you're feeling okay in your upper body, high V, low V arms. Here we go, lift, push. Think about when your arm's going up, you're finding full extension through one leg. When your palms press back and down, you're finding full extension through the opposite leg. Ah, it's a lateral movement. Push to lift your heart rate. Also a good stretch for the front of your head. Right? Mm, feels good. <laughs> Arms can stay lower, especially if you're noticing your ribs kind of popping open as your arms go up. Now, find your long, strong arms like you're reaching up for the blue sky above you. Push. That's what we're dreaming of right now, right? <laughs> yes. A few more, then we're heading to speed skaters. Push. Your hips right now are kind of making a big smiley face as you move side to side. Here's four, three, two. Speed skaters, here we go. Side to side. Your palm presses out. I think you're giving me a, a nice high five for making this happen right here. What's changed? Your hips now glide on a line parallel to whatever you're working on below you. Yes, push. Any tension through your low back, keep your heart brighter. Otherwise, send your hips back. Option, tap your toe behind you. Push. If your toe's tapping behind you, start to recognize if your spine is moving. We wanna keep our spine stable. Push. And you can always bring yourself back to here. Push. Take your gaze off whatever device you have. Take in how this feels. Reach. Kickstands are where we are finishing strong. Some good ab sizzle. Ah, let the sweat just happen. Let your breath be big. Push. Here's your final four, three, two. Last set, last side. Plant both feet, take a big inhale. Amazing work. Come down for kickstands. Take a seat. Your elbows underneath your shoulders, forearms to your mat or your grass. <laughs> Bring your legs to tabletop and hold. Heavy with your pelvis. Draw your abdominal wall in. Lift your heart, relax to your shoulders. Your legs are touching. Inhale, allow your knees to open. See a diamond shape between your legs. Exhale, pull your legs back to where they were. This time flex to your heels. Inhale, push your feet away. Come back to where you began. A full breath, whether it's the opposite of what I've cued or you're with me here. Full breath for each movement. Press. Lindsay's got a great option, the one I do, unless I'm on grass. It's kind of itchy. <laughs> <laughs> so feel free to go there, especially if you're feeling this in your neck, your shoulders, your low back. Once again, like with all of our work today, your spine doesn't move, your hips stay steady. If you're noticing movement in those areas, you're gonna pull back on your range of motion. If you're noticing areas like the front of your hips are kind of driving you crazy here, feel free, keep your toes light, and just do some alternating marches here. Ah. Let your gaze be above your feet so you're protecting your neck. Let your breath be big, push out. So finding your knees pulling out, there's some chaos for your core. And then when you flex to your heels, think about pushing a big, big boulder away from you. Woo Feel that sizzle through your abs. Feeling it, Linz? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. I have to close my eyes. <laughs> yeah, and then try and talk, right? <laughs> Here is your final few. You are making this happen. I congratulate you. I celebrate you. These little snacks of 
movement are such a great way to support you wherever you're going. All right, come back, knees over tabletop, flex through your heels. Big inhale, exhale, push your heels out and away. Do that two more times. Inhale, lift with your heart, dive your ribs down, heels go out. You have one more just like this. Inhale, full exhale, heels go out, out, out. <laughs> nice work, assist yourself to a seated position. Right leg in front of your left, walk your hands forward. You can stay a little higher if you need. Option to walk your hands over to your left. Right hand on top of left and stay rooted with your right hip bone. Walk yourself back through center. Lift on up, switch your legs. Sit tall, sit proud. Walk your hands forward. And then option to go to the opposite side. Staying heavy with your left hip. Always can take a figure four if that's a better release for the back of your hips. Hands come back through center, lift on up. Modified camel, or feel free to go standing like Lindsay. Knees a little wider than your hips. Bring your toes to touch. Bring your hands where your back pockets would be as you squeeze your elbows together. Lift your heart. Feel the front line of your body opening up. Chest your hips. Inhale. On your exhale, join me standing if you're not already there. Bring your feet underneath your hips. Allow your arms to just doodle. And always finishing with a moment of breath work if it feels intuitive, hand to your heart, to your belly. Take two breaths right as you are here. Always breaths full of gratitude, of celebration, that you allowed this time in your day to happen. And together with us, one final breath here. Inhale, palms come to touch right back to your heart. Thanks for taking us with you today.